Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2018 Twin Cities Film Fest, hosted by the Shops at the West End and the beautiful Showplace Icon Theaters. My name is Bill Cooper, and I have the pleasure of being on the red carpet here with a couple of actors that worked in this Minnesota-made film, Wonderland. So we're going to spend a couple minutes learning a little bit more about that film. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the plot of Wonderland, and uh, then we'll get a little bit into the production of your character. Sure. Well, Wonderland uh, is the story that's semi-based in the truth. It's at the tailing end of World War II, and uh, about a group of guys that are sent against all odds behind enemy lines to hold a critical point, and it, um, it, it sways the end of the war. Battle of the Bulge, based on Battle yes, of the Bulge. Exactly. Fantastic. In the very, very cold winter. <laughs> yes. Completely. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it was like then to, uh, a little bit about the production. You spent a lot of time uh, out by Big Lake and making this. So just give us a rough idea of the production. Uh, well, the production was pretty gross. I don't know if you wanted me to take this or not. This uh, you took it. The production okay. was great. Uh, <laughs> it was really, the, no, it was. Uh, it was my first experience working with the uh, with the production team and Luke and everybody involved, and uh, it was really just fun to watch everything come together. Because I was kind of somewhat of a newcomer coming into this one, so I was kind of off to the side, and I got you know fitted with wardrobe with our buddy Casey Sill over there, and um, was like, all right, this is this feels really fantastic and an honor to be in like a uniform that was worn you know by um, by our men and women like you know back in World War II era, like especially a medic uniform really. Yep. I especially like being in the medic uniform because I had the patch, so I could pick myself out. <laughs> Everyone else who looks so similar, like yeah, me, there's me right there. But the production itself was just uh, fantastic. It was just awesome to see it all come together. A lot of details, and I, I those uh, uniforms weren't exactly the most comfortable things, yeah. and layered, and all that kind of stuff as well. Well, and Stephen Luke was had planned to be here, the director, but wasn't able to make it, so that's why we have sort of some uh, other people standing in. Um, a couple quick things I wanted to talk about. Uh, the, one of the things I was impressed about the film was the authenticity, the, the tanks and the guns. And the, so, can you tell us a little bit about uh, a little bit about your character and also how you learned <laughs> with all the arterial artillery and things? Absolutely. Well, we're lucky because Luke, uh, who wrote, produced, directed, and starred in the movie, uh, his history uh, personally is in, he's educated in military history. Uh, he has another business where he sells, buys, rents to movies like Fury, authentic, actual uniforms, weapons that have been converted for film. So the stuff that you were wearing in the, up, the other upcoming movie, the, 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 the uniforms we were wearing, almost entirely were, were, were uniforms that were used at the time. And uh, I always found myself saying that it's, it's amazing we won this war because it was so uncomfortable, so cold. Uh, but the authenticity of this war comes from Luke's dedication to the information, the story, the stuff that really what happened out there. And sometimes that's not the sexiest thing, but the truth is the truth. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about your medic character and, uh, and how that was to play. I'll just hold it. Okay, I'll just come in. Well, it was uh, Doc Anderson is who I played there. And uh, I tried to look up as best as I could of what uh, what medics really were equipped with and what they had, and obviously it was like plasma, and there was like morphine and things that they had just in the field that they could quickly work on someone because it always had to be extremely quick and move on. So I tried to watch certain things, you know, to try and get educated as best I could in that regard. Like um, uh, a few of the films, obviously, with uh, Band of Brothers was actually one. There's a specific episode that had to do with a, a medic during the Battle of the Bullets, so it was actually something I kind of watched and studied somewhat on. What like attention to because my scene specifically deals deals with what a medic had to do, and obviously he wasn't able to do too much. Um, so I just tried to make sure that I was able to at least bring something of any authenticity to it, where someone's watching and being like, okay, like that's uh, his options were limited, so there's really not much else that you could really do with that. But again, I love being in the uniform and the medic. You know, I pretty much I wanted to take it home with me and give it, but they <laughs> let me do that like they don't on any film. Well, in some, in some respects, it's sort of the completion of the character. You, you know how you are internally, and then you throw on that uniform, and you can't help but uh, but feel uh, feel more part of the story. You had the opportunity to spend a fair amount of time with Tom Berenger, yes. which we're so glad to have back here in Minnesota. Tell us what that experience was like. Tom was an incredibly genuine person. You know, sometimes they say, uh, be careful about meeting your heroes, and they more, most often let you down. Um, Tom actually surprised me by being as genuine as he was. Um, you speak about the authenticity. He brings some extra authenticity, not only from being an Academy Award-nominated actor, but 
he is a war historian geek himself. He, he knew as much about what was going on as anybody on the set and more. Uh, so beyond just his innate talent and ability and his seasoned persona on set, he, he just brought to it a gravitas that uh, lent to the entire film. Luke was very, very lucky to score that. Well, the two of you have got a lot of gravitas as well, so thank you. Uh, Aaron and Andrew for being part of this production and again part of this uh, short interview today. Thanks for having us. Glad to have you. Good. We'll be right back talking to a couple more actors from the film.